Chapter 10 A Better Idea Morning sunlight warmed the woods. Birdsong filled the air. No time at all had passed in Frog Creek. We have just enough time to get back to recess, said Jack. Good, said Annie. They climbed on the rope ladder and started through the woods. That was an amazing adventure, said Annie. Yeah, it really was, said Jack. He stopped. But wait, did it really happen? I mean, that prehistoric rhino? What? You're asking that now? said Annie. After a million trips in the magic treehouse? Jack laughed and kept walking. Yeah, but it was so incredible. It was real, said Annie. We had eyewitnesses. Rosie, Rosita, Speedy, and the poachers. Oh yeah, sure, said Jack. He shook his head. Great witnesses. Seriously, said Annie. Hey, I have a question, said Jack. Before you gave Speedy to the rangers, what were you two whispering about? I said, be good and don't tell anyone our secret, said Annie. Oh yeah, said Jack, smiling. And what did Speedy answer? Well, you know Speedy, she said. He said, forget it. Of course I'm going to tell the other bush babies and the zebras and the wildebeest, lions, elephants, frogs, mosquitoes, and... Okay, okay, said Jack. He smiled. And all things in the grasslands, Annie added. And I said, yes, tell them all. And he said, they'll love the story. And furthermore, okay, said Jack, laughing. Enough. Jack and Annie came out of the Frog Creek Woods and started down the street toward their school. Hold on, said Annie. Are you sure we don't have enough time to run home real fast and get the folder for my project? I am sure, said Jack. There's no way we can go there and then get back to school in time. Darn, said Annie. Remember, you made a choice, said Jack. Right, I did, said Annie. They passed the library and church. So what will you tell your teacher about your science project, said Jack. Annie frowned. I'll just have to say I couldn't find my folder of pictures. I have a better idea, said Jack. What? He felt in his back pocket. The booklet from the safari ride was still there. He pulled it out and held it up. Show this to your class, he said. Tell them about rhinos and tell them about prehistoric rhinos. Tell them that present-day rhinos might disappear from the earth. Tell them that brave rangers like Shani and Jomo are trying to save them. Tell them that sad things... Tell them the sad things and then the good things. That's your science project. Wow, Annie breathed. She took the booklet from Jack. I really do have something to say. You have something huge to say, said Jack. I hope everyone listens, said Annie. They will, if you tell it the right way, said Jack. By now, they were at the edge of the playground. The kids were still shouting and tossing balls and running races. Thanks, Jack, said Annie. Good luck, said Jack. Then the bell rang. Recess was over. The end. Well, thank you so much, halflings, for joining me for this adventure to Africa and seeing the ri or listening to the rhinos, that story. Um, we made it through another book, which is awesome. So just um, standard housekeeping. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so to help support our channel. And thank you so much to all of you who have already subscribed. It, it means so much to me. So until next time, take care, halflings. Bye!